to add timber to an Android project. Add this dependency to your app level build.grindle in the dependencies section. You can find the latest versions of timber on the official GitHub repo. Create an app.kt application class and add it to the Android Manifest XML. App.kt could be named anything and if you already have an application class, you do not need to create another application class. And the basic setup is done. Installation of Timber should be done as early as possible as recommended by the Timber author. We will initialize Timber on the onCreate of the app.kt which extends application class. By default, Timber automatically figures out from which class it's being called and it adds that class as its tag. This section will show you how to add the global tag prefix to the Android Timber logs. So it's easy to filter Timber logs from multiple classes with a single search query. As seen, the search query global can filter timber logs from multiple classes, which is useful when you want to see logs from all classes at the same time. Some classes have variables named exactly the same, but in different methods. When you log such variables at the same time, it's possible to get confused to figure out from which method they are coming. To fix that, in this section we will add a method name to our tag. So it's easy to see the variable from which method it is being logged. And as seen, the method name is added to the tag. Similarly, you can also do the element.line number to get the line number. The code is in the description. Kia ora everybody, I'm Flatter from the Spaghetti on Pizza production team and I was the person who's just walked you through how to set up this particular application. And when you're finished setting up this application, if you want to relax and watch some great videos on history, have a laugh on some of our skits, see some awesome debunks, or experience life here in Aotearoa, New Zealand, then by all means, please check out our channel. Link will be in the description. Kakite.